has to recognize is the fact that, you know, the court may decide, no, it doesn't need to be knocked down. We just need to fix it up to the bare minimum level, and we don't <coughs> want to continue that. Because we know that that's not what the city wants, and we don't want to have that kind of relationship with the city anymore. Council, if I may, you know, the, uh, your remarks are, are, are fine. I think what's happening is, you know, we've been working with developers and the owners of that property for well over five or six years now to do something positive. Uh, there has been no positive things done by the, the owner of that property. Um, you know, we have a tremendous, tremendous responsibility for the citizens of our city to make sure that it's a safe and clean neighborhood. So, you know, I just think enough is enough by the neighbors and by the city. Keep going for another 30 days, turns into 60 days, to 90 days, to six months, to a year. Mm -hmm. Believe mm -hmm. me, enough is enough. I, I, I agree with uh, uh, Commissioner Durella, 21 days, uh, put your work together. Uh, I'm not here to say we're going to tear down the building, uh, but I do say to you and to your client, uh, get yourself together because I'm looking forward to the hearing. Uh, we all want something uh, nice for our neighbors and to our city, that the owner has not demonstrated, in my eyes, that he has done anything to improve that complex of that nature. So that's my concern. Thank you, Com comments yeah. well, follow up. Um, Mr. Rizzo, your comments are well taken. Um, you said that within the time frame that I stipulated by the 21st, you have a defense thing and your concern seemed to have been can the city get a committee together and things like that. Mr. Riverboy, we put committees together you know, within an hour if we had to. I mean, there's no real any stipulation the way we need to do that. No. I think the city administrator, however, has taken a position of new thoughts and I think they were choosing to go to the same position of shooting down the result of the session. Now, if, if that is the... Uh, and I'm okay. not saying that's absolutely necessary, but I think that was his... Uh, the, the comment that uh, the discussion I've had with him, that was going to be his recommendation. And he was not here to present that. And, um, and for us to go into executive session, we got us, we got to do notification. Like, and, we, we would need about right. four days, you know, between notification and trying to set up the thing. And I think that that at least that window should be taken into consideration because then once you when you talk about if that if that's the course that that's the potential course that the city takes, you're really taking the, almost a week off of the time period, so it gives you very little time to meet. Uh, you're almost left with about a, a week to maybe nine days. And, and I would have to be, I'm compelled to agree with defense counsel that a week or nine days to meet on an issue concerning either acquisition or redevelopment plan, which would reduce, materially reduce density for that property, it may not be enough. You might need an extra seven days to serve it. But I'm, I'm going to yeah. defer to the commissioners here, but I'm just I, pointing out the. Yeah, I'm asking the, the question, and I, I don't. Help me out, Mr. Perry. You've been around long enough, so we've been in 10 years. I didn't even call. I can go and get the session to do the thing unless we're being not, not for cautious. us to appoint someone. I, I, you know, but you know, I don't know where city administrators' thoughts are as far as uh, the mayor appointing a, a, a committee. I think the mayor has a right to appoint a committee without us going through some kind of session. I don't, I don't disagree with that, uh, Mr. Mr. Chair, I just wanted to, since Lou was, Lou, Lou was not here to state his position, I just wanted to put his position on the record so that the commissioners are aware of that. Uh, and, and, you know, I don't, it's so I don't have a strong feeling one way or the other whether the mayor appoints a committee or whether the governing, we go into executive session to, to, to um, have the governing body appoint a committee. It doesn't matter to me. But, but I know Lou felt, felt uh, more strongly sense. about having a... Uh, it would make more sense to be able to utilize the people that have been involved all along with discussions with the owner to just have them continue along. The mayor is part of that. He accused you know, himself from this. The committee actually, in my eyes, has kind of been here, but not really. It's not a formal committee, I guess. That would be my recommendation, but again, you know, that's, that's, I'm only one person that makes uh, recommendations. The city's minister hasn't really given his bad direction before, but I you would know, like to look at this and trying to move this thing forward and try to run power tracks. Defense says they can get their, their, their defense ready, I have to think, but yeah, today we got a committee together to be able to continue to run parallel tracks and try to move this along. 
into a positive direction, which I agree with you, has not occurred on a regular basis. I have driven in that property and been on that property at night. Uh, yes, I am Darren. And uh, <laughs> seen it. It's, 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 it's not a pretty study. And, uh, I, I, I'm just concerned as Commissioner Perrin, we don't do the safety of the people who live there. And having to go to those neighborhood meetings, look those people eye to eye, uh, knowing what you know, we try to do is very, very difficult for us. Well, let me say, I